So the other day, someone sent me these as a gift, these Bluetooth headphones. So I decided to try them out and I was actually quite surprised at how decent they sound. So I wanted to find out how much they cost to buy. So I went online and I searched out the price of these things and I was surprised to find out these things only cost about 224 Rand, which is hilariously cheap considering how good these were. So these are the Volcano Impulse Bluetooth headphones. You see the V logo over there. You can see the design is inspired by those Beats headphones. Just about every cheap headphone just uses that design. And so here's how the outside looks. There's three colors. There's a white one, there's black, and then there's this matte red finish, which you have here. It's also great because this matte finish doesn't show fingerprints, which isn't very nice. You've also got adjustments over here. You've got six levels of adjustments. I keep it at five or six. And the nice thing I like about these is that they have the labels for left and right inside, which is kind of nice if you say watching a video or movie that has stereo sound. And then to best describe these headphones, they are what we call on-ear headphones. So that means that when you're wearing them, the, the cups of the headphones will kind of sit on top of your ears. And thankfully, it hasn't been uncomfortable for me, so that's not really an issue. Now, since these are Bluetooth, you also get some controls over here. Power, volumes, pause, and skip track. All of that kind of stuff is right on here. Unfortunately, you can only pair it to one device at a time, but that's a sacrifice for the price you're paying. Now, I managed to get these to work on Android, Windows, Mac OS, and iOS. So, you'll have no problems at all. And in terms of the sound quality, the interesting thing is, right, it works fine on the Mac, on Android it works fine, but for some reason on iPad, the sound quality is like significantly worse. I don't know why, but thankfully, if you're not someone who cares about the sound quality, it's not gonna be a big deal. You can also take calls with this thing. There's a microphone over here. The microphone sounds pretty bad, so in fact, it's so bad that I actually have to shout or be really loud in order for people to hear me during the phone call. You could also play music directly from an SD card right here. And you also have access to FM radio from the headphones if that interests you. Now in terms of the sound quality, the sound quality is decent. However, there is a bit of a delay. So if you're someone who plays lots of games, you won't really enjoy playing with these ones. However, there is an option for wired input. So if you can plug them in with the wire, there's an aux cable directly in the box. So you can just use that one and you get better sound quality and less latency if you want to play games or if you like me and you edit videos i like i use i use this port a lot now back to the buttons one issue i have which for some reason is specific to the ipad again is this thing this is the power button it's the power button but also the pause and play button if you hold it down for long it's the power button if you press it once it's the pause and play button for some reason with my ipad i have to press it for a bit longer than with android in order to play or pause tracks but that's a small issue and in terms of battery life, you'll be looking at about 16 hours. At least that's what they say in the box. I've never actually tested it because there's no way I'm going to wear headphones for 16 hours straight. In my personal use case where I basically use this thing in the evening to watch some YouTube videos, I have no issue with these. They last me about three days before I have to charge them, which is pretty nice. And if you're wearing them for a long period of time, these things won't get uncomfortable. However, your ears will start to get hot and you might want to like take these off and take a break because your ears will get hot and you'll start to sweat and that makes the experience a bit less nice. But overall, these things are really nice. I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy these yourself. So uh, thank you for watching.